starter. It's actually Yagos Lassic starting his third game of the year. Dunn, left arc, lets it fly, puts it in, and the Terriers have the game's first points, a three-pointer for St. Francis Brooklyn. Sanabria, right arc, nine to shoot, putting it on the floor, isolation. Sanabria pulls up three, puts it in right over Cho. Move, Rasheem Dunn it to the front court, putting it on the floor, trying to pull it, double team rolls off the rim, but taps it in. <laughs> Rasheem Dunn staying with it, and the Terriers have a four-point lead. On court, it's Brandon Anderson putting it on the floor, driving across the baseline, reverse layup, putting it in, and the foul. We're tied at 21. He can flat score. Around it. Brown still got a guy down on the floor. It's Desmond Cambridge. Cambridge looks like the left leg is hurt. That three goes in as the Terriers take a 23-22 lead. Oh, trying to find somebody. Takes it to the baseline. Reverse layup. Not able to put it in, but Jason Massey following it through. Jordan in the heart of the defense. Back to Lassage. Five to shoot. Finger roll across yeah. the lane. <laughs> Little sky hook. Going out, St. Francis Brooklyn shooting 45%. Brown. Oh, Jalen Jordan. Jalen Jordan with 13 points from Steph Curry range. Loses it at the foul line. Ball loose. Terriers forced the turnover. St. Francis on the run. Hawkins, line drive pass across the lane, laying it up and putting it in is DJ Fordham. Foul. Yeah, <laughs> surprisingly. Although I could argue for a few more as Jalen Jordan hits the step back three. New season high for this freshman. Bring it back, shot clock at 10, long pass. Intercepted by Nicholas, driving Showtime. down the right side of the lane, lays it up and puts it in. You know he wanted to go for the dunk, but yeah. took the cautious route. Now at nine points, right at his averages, as Rasheem Dunn turns it over. Huntsicker intercepted the pass and laid it in, and Brown within two. Dunn into the front court for St. Francis. Terriers with a bucket will take their largest lead. Dunn accelerates into the paint, drives, lays it up, putting it in, and the foul, and the Terriers up nine. Right in the lane. This is what he does best. This is why he was on the All-NEC rookie team last year and why he could be an All-Conference player this year. Rasheem Dunn now up to 13 points with an opportunity to give the Terriers a double-digit lead. Kosich hands it off Hunziker at the foul line. Hunziker behind the back pass, laying it in is Travis Fuller as Kosich went down. He's 35 remaining. Spinning, low left, Dunn off the glass and in. And the Terriers have a 68-66 lead. 68-66, Terriers lead the Bears. Long three on the way, that's good. Brandon Anderson, and the Bears regain the lead. Center circle, Rasheem gets around the screen, five to shoot, three, quarter on the way, bullseye. Jalen Jordan ring the bell, and the Terriers have a four-point lead. 73-69, timeout Brown. Jalen Jordan, Jalen Jordan, Jalen Jordan. Get used to hearing that name a lot this season. Season high, 22 points in only his third game. He has a game high, 22 points right now. Cold-blooded, six three-pointers. And they're in a bad position. Four and a half seconds left, Brown I getting foul. up the floor. Anderson, one second for overtime, misses, and the Terriers win the game. Anderson came up short, had the look, and the Terriers get the win, 77-74. St. Francis Brooklyn gets win number one, taking the home opener over the Brown Bears by three.